When I was younger, I had the same hateful dream night after night. In it, I would walk into a spectacular yellow kitchen where a woman with no face stood before a stove with a black cauldron on top. What are you making? I would ask. The recipe for love, she would say. Behind her, I would stand and watch as she added blood from the body of a boy and a girl. Next, she would add a pinch of kisses and a tablespoon of hope. Suddenly, the potion produced a vanilla odor so fragrant I couldn't help but smile. Love does that, but my happiness was short-lived. Because when she saw the pleasure on my face, she turned to the pot and spit in it. Turning the elixir to a putrid black sludge. Oh, how I would cry. I learned a lot from that dream later in life. You can do all the right things for love, but it only takes one jealous bitch to ruin it all. So I ask, shouldn't sluts like this pay? That's because I told you it was over. A long time ago at that. You think I'm letting that good pussy go? You got me fucked up, Lisa. I wonder what your wife would say about that. Like you care. <laughs> You're the only woman I know who seeks out men like me. I just want to know why you cutting that nigga off now. I gotta go, boy. I said stop calling me before I... Today is your big day. Are you scared? Girl, why it sound like you far away? Not sure, because I'm very close. Are you ready for your life to change? What if he doesn't ask? He will. How you know? Because I think he had an argument with that bitch and he's done with the back and forth shit. Almost like he's having a hard time choosing between us. The worst part is I don't even know how to act with the man that's all mine. What if, what if another bitch does the same thing to you that you did to them by taking your man? Wait, who is this? Fiona. How do you get my number? When he asks, tell him no. I ask how you get my number. Bitch, I'm worth millions. Do you really think I can't scratch up a little rat's number? I can do much more and be asked if you tell him yes. We'll see about that when I'm his wife. This is your final warning, young girl. You won't get another. Taz, what's she like? Does it matter? No, but I want to know. I feel like you can't handle it if I told you. Why you say that? It wasn't all bad between us. So why be with me? The woman should always focus on her own positives, not the next bitches. And security is like kryptonite to me, Lisa. I don't like it. She's rich and beautiful. What you want with me? First, she smiled, the kind that makes me want to come back, because you know how to greet a nigga. And then it's your mind, just witty enough to talk to me about anything.
politics to money. And it's this pussy that's tatted with my name. Because it belongs to me. Hold up. Where did it come from? <sighs> I'm a killer. I'm not talking about the past because that trait remains in me now, ready to show itself at any moment. I don't know a lot, but I know the only time I'm at my best is when I'm with you. And I can't say if I'm going to make a good husband, but I do know with you I want to try. I guess a nigga asking if you're going to be his wife and shit. <laughs> yes. Actually, I was getting ready to... You're an amateur. Excuse me? You're so used to fucking Taz, you've carried on as if we've officially met. Let me help you. You forgot the part where you say, who are you? <clears throat> I... 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 May I come in? Why so rude, darling? Don't you know how to entertain? First off, I didn't invite you, and I don't know what you're talking about. Let me help you then. Treat me in the same manner you do my nigga. Is that clear enough for you? Like I said, what do you want? I see you have a luxury car out front. So it's a crime to have nice things? No. In fact, I think it's a requirement. I think everyone should know how it feels to have the finer things in life. Because once you learn how it feels to have more or to have better, you can never settle for less. I don't know about all of that. Of course you do. Just recently, purchased another item. One far more expensive than anything you own. And what is that? I'll do you one better. Let me describe the item in the hopes that my words become crystal. He's handsome, dresses fashionably enough, oh, and fucks you so good you thought he was made for you. Except he wasn't. He was created for me and by me. Know which item I'm referring to yet, bitch? I know you're not talking about Taz, cause I don't, I don't. No, I don't have time for the game. I'm here because you owe me $150,000. Cash. Must be fucking crazy. Quite the contrary. These days I'm a complete sound mind and body. It's time for you to- You stole my nigga. Rode around in the car, I bought him. 
took advantage of the fuck game I taught him and spent my money. Even got yourself a shiny new ring. So trust me when I say you owe me and you gonna run my money, bitch. Unfortunately for you, I'll take a payment in cash or blood. Your choice. Sit down, Lisa. Sit down, Lisa. I said sit the fuck down. You may want to answer that. I don't have to answer. It's my mother. I know. Mother? Lisa, what the fuck is going on? A woman who calls herself Sin says you owe a debt. And she's in front of my house holding a gun on me. Saying she won't let me go until some other lady says so. What you do this time? Tell her you'll call her back. Mother, I gotta call you. Bitch, what the fuck is going on? Who are you? Besides a powerful woman, I am many things, including dangerous. Are you gonna hurt my mother? Of course not. I have a mother too, whom I love very much. Then what do you want? My money, bitch. Ain't you been listening? I don't know what this is about, but if you want Taz, you can have him. <laughs> Why do women do that? Do what? If a bitch wears my panties, I don't put them back on. You own that nigga now. Make use of him. But I called you today. I warned you and yet you still walk through that door. But this is going too far. You're threatening my mother. Should have thought about that before you played with him. Fell in love and made him lose reason. So tired of plucking these niggas off the streets only for young bitches like you to dirty them up with your funky box ways. Had I known you loved them, I would have never taken them from you. Mm. Isn't that what this is about? No. What it's about is that I'm not into sharing. Young Fish, before this moment, I couldn't keep his hands off me even if I tried. <sighs> but I have a new nigga now in the gym right now as we speak. I builds them up like Ken dolls. One breaks a leg, I buy another. I stopped falling in love years ago. To me, men are only commodities. No different than a stock of bond. And sometimes just as expensive. I mean, I don't want anything to do with this. As a matter of fact, let me go get him now. He's in my room. <laughs> <laughs> you make me giggle. You're different than the others. Huh? First of all, when you go in the back of the room, you'll find that Taz is gone. Don't blame him. He knows that if I ever found you, any acceptance of him back into my lair is gone. So let me tell you how this is gonna go down. You have seven days to run me my money. You fucked with the wrong woman. There has to be another way to make all of this go away. There is. And it's with a cashier's check in the amount of $150,000. I love roses, Lisa. Be sure to keep them in stock. You don't just walk off the floor, Fiona. I'm sorry, Wanda, but I... the busiest day of the weekend. No, but I asked Larry to... Larry hasn't been here for two weeks. He's fresh out of training and not experienced enough to run my floor. Now, if you want your job, I suggest you get back now or consider yourself fired. Now you know why I can't count on you. I'm sorry. I can't help you study tonight. 
in figures. But let me guess. It's your fucking job again. I'm so sorry. Mom, I find another job. I will go. Too much man for you, Fiona. I got dreams big enough for both of us, and you can't help me hold them? That's it. Isn't it? I am the woman for you, Kansas. And if we didn't need the money to support you and the education, I I'm taking the most important test in my life, and you aren't helping me. Please, don't give up on me. I know you could have made another younger girl your wife, but- This ain't about being with no young bitch. This is about you holding me down like you promised. I'm getting the feeling like you don't think I can do this. I believe in you, Kansas. Look me in my eyes and you will see the vision I have for you is bigger than you can imagine. I believe in you. Doesn't feel that way now. I don't eat unless you eat first. I don't sleep unless you're in the bed next to me. I don't pleasure myself unless you make love to me. You're my king. And I know I can't help you study tonight, but I still know my place. Why'd you leave her house, Taz? Cause you're a police calling rat. It was over between us. Why'd you go to that girl's house? Come on now, Taz. You know me well enough to know that I'm not done until I say that I'm done. I don't give a fuck what I said. The fuck is wrong with you? Why the games? One minute you tell me to get out and the next you show up at my girl's crib? Leave me the fuck alone! I hear you, Taz. But I do know this. If that bitch don't give me the money I tripped on you, I will hurt her. You know what? I'm done with this shit. What is it, huh? Does her pussy get wet in her mind? There you go. Now mine's wet too. Testing my patience, Fiona. What did I pass the test? I know what this is about. You want me to hurt you so them motherfuckers can send me away for life? No. What I want is for you to remember that I own you. What I want is for you to remember that I built you into the fine ass man that you are today. Bitch, you ain't build me. I was a man the day I slid out my mother's pussy. The only thing you realized was a nigga's potential. That's it. I know you are a man, Taz. That's the appeal. And although I can't control you, and I'm aware of the violence that you're capable of, I want you to remember the things that I'm capable of, too. Now, if you move with that bitch before she gives me the money that I spent on culinary school, the down payment on your restaurant, and that car she's sporting, I will kill her. And I'm talking expertly, Taz, and without a trace, too. Don't worry. When she gives me the money she owes me, you're free. Until then, consider yourself a high-priced slave. Oh. And if you write the check for her, for every zero that I see, I will slice her face five times. <sighs> and we both know you can't do shit with an ugly bitch. Now, I'm soaking and your negative energy is making my bad coat. You're dismissed. Always remember, Fiona. Always remember what? I get it. One word from you, and you can have your lawyers take it all away. My restaurant, my car, all of it. Just to leave a nigga with nothing. You forgot your freedom. Oh, that too, Fiona. But what you don't realize is that I don't give a fuck about none of it. I hear you, Taz. But you're too fine to go back to prison. So stop. I gotta go back, I'm gonna make it count. I'm gonna take my time with you. I won't stop inflicting pain till you can't feel it no more. And then, I'll kill you. But only if you beg me.
What you doing in my house? Girl, that should be the least of your worries. But with the money I have, I will say that your father, friend, mother will sell you out. How did you get in? I'm serious. Your mother sold you out. Gave me copy the key to your house. Oh, she told me to tell you this. I'm sick of that black bitch fucking other people's men. Maybe you'll finally give her what she deserves. I assured her I would. Now, get your ass in the kitchen and make me some breakfast. I'm hungry. I guess Taz didn't teach you how to cook. It's a shame because your fiance is a world-class chef. At this point, you should know your way around the stove. Look, <laughs> it's so funny. I'm just wondering how deep the gas you were making my throat before I blew your pussy out. Don't be scared, Lisa. I'm not gonna kill you. I need my fucking money. Although, I will say you're not much of a host. I don't know how much Taz has told you about me, but ask him about the stories that don't have shit to do with my money. Ask him what I'm capable of if I don't get my way. Don't let him walk away without hearing that one tale that'll make you shiver. And when story time is over, I want you to think long and hard about pulling a knife out on me again, bitch. Let me get this straight. You mean to tell me you let a bitch come in your house, force you to make breakfast, pull a gun on you, slap the shit out you, and then the bitch have a nerve not to eat? <laughs> It's not funny. <laughs> Bitch. It's hilarious. No way on this side of Baltimore would I let her get away with that shit. Shameful. She's different, Wish. I'm trying to tell you. This woman not like the others. She's willing to take shit far. Talking about I owe her stacks and shit. Unless this bitch King Kong, I don't give a fuck who she like. But what I do know is that she's wrong for coming at you the way she did. She threatened my mother, Wish. You and I both know Miss Betty mean ass to be all right. What you need to be concerned with is yourself. As a matter of fact, call King Kong over here now. I want to meet her ass. You serious? Have you ever known me to play? If you say so, let me get my cell phone on my bedroom. I do say so. I haven't beaten a bitch's ass in years. I'm due. Before I forget, what's that whore's name anyway? Fiona Currington. The you know that bitch ain't got the money, right? I'm sorry, but is that my problem or hers? Who we waiting on, Fiona? You know I don't like my time wasted with games. You call on me when it's time to kill niggas. Let me do that for you. I want to do this my way. And which way is that? By popping up over her house? Giving her opportunities to learn your habits? You playing a game? And you showing your hand. What is he even seeing her? I know I'm older, but my body's still tight. My money is right. What's the problem? Where you want me to start? The top. You act like you got no love for the nigga. We had an arrangement. I know. And it goes like this. We fucking at 10. Be on time. You going with me to meet my brokers. <laughs> Wear the blue suit. You treat him like he property. Because he is. Have you ever considered that you just might be in love? Have you met me? Ever? So do I love these niggas. Back in the day, you used to have two young niggas a month. But in the last year, it's 
been all about tags. After Kansas, you just... Don't talk to me about Kansas. You know shit about him. Since it's obvious after all this time we still don't fuck with each other, let me be frank. She's back. Who? Cool. Be honest. old woman visits her doctor and is nervous after testing positive for HIV. Of the 10,000 patients tested, 200 had HIV. The test came back positive for 180, while 20 tested negative. Given this patient's positive test, what is the probability that she has it? A for 0 0.05, B for 0 0.20, or C for 0 0.21? What the fuck type question is that? One that's needed to pass the USMLE! Oh, come on, baby! You know this! B. <gasps> I knew you knew it! Today is student, tomorrow a doctor. I get down on you hard sometimes, Fiona. And I know it's fucked up, but you could never understand the pressure on the man coming from the projects who's trying to better himself. Niggas from my blocks, either about the dope or the ball. I want more. Baby, you don't have to. Listen, I want you to know that I appreciate you. And although I don't tell you enough, or sometimes at all, I know without you, none of this would be possible. Giving you roses? Uh, I ain't shit. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's not. Part of the reason I treated you so badly is because you allowed it. Now, it don't make it right. But if we don't make it, you need to demand that the next man bring you roses every day, Fiona. You deserve that shit. But there's no other man for me, Kansas. You know that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the kind of man to do things like this. My father never gave my mother shit but trouble. It seems kind of corny, so you can't expect this of me on a regular. But I'm giving them to you today because you deserve them. And I want you to remember this moment when things get bad. And they will get bad. This means more to me than you ever imagined. Now go put on something nice. Scully gave me a few bucks, so I'm gonna take you out. To eat? This some real sad shit on my part. For real. Got my bitch geeking over a meal? Yes. To eat. Now take that uniform off and go put on one of your nicer fits. Why is she out of the crazy house? Nigga, you act like I know. Fuck I look like to you, a psychic? Bitch, this ain't no fucking game. And y'all niggas said they threw her away. And the key that went with her. I don't have time for this shit. Did anybody bother to talk to her? 
Not now, Makeisha. Well, is Fiona saying anything about what we did? No. But I get the impression that she will any minute now. I put this behind me, and we promised not to reach out to each other unless something was really up. You're comical. What's that supposed to mean? You're not a millionaire no more, Dirk. Remember? You spent every dollar on that chocolate bibs investment just for the trucks to break down in the middle of the summer. First off, they were chocolate baby booties, not bibs. And I ain't lose it all. Just most of it. This is stupid. It does seem a little premature, Wish. Maybe we should talk to Fiona to see how she's on before we assume she's talking about that night. I said we're not doing that. They call her for what? We not friends no more. I don't even fuck with y'all niggas. And I know the feeling's mutual. We did what we did, Scully. And I know it's fucked up. But we gotta get this bitch now. A dead bitch speaks no tale. I beg. I pleaded and begged with every last one of you to call the police that night. And you didn't listen. So you want credit now? No. What I want is a good reason as to why I'm being bothered with this shit now. Someone as vicious and violent as Fiona don't get a change of heart when the next person gets her wrong and she don't get her way. A person like that kills again and again and again. Why? Because we let her get away with it. I dug into the ground the night that bitch murdered my man, threw his body in the damp soil, even buried a part of me with him. I lost my wife, my job, and my peace of mind. This is karma coming back for y'all niggas. So I suggest you leave me out of it. Have an idea on how you can get me my money. You can't keep coming into my house, Fiona. I'm tired of this shit. Are you tired, Lisa? Because I'm having the time of my life. I want you out. I'm gonna call the police. Go ahead. Call them. I'm serious, Fiona. If you don't leave, I'm calling. In the future, if you make a promise, don't follow through saying the same shit. You made a threat, so follow through. Call them. Plus, I'm eager to see if they know the information that I have for them. What's that? You can read, can't you? If so, give it a try. How did you... Must I continuously remind you about my wealth? So you can tell the police? Me? It was you who was preparing to get the police involved. I don't do this anymore. Back in the day, I did what I needed to do to earn money. But I'm through with that lifestyle. Of course you don't do these things anymore. You have a rich nigga who takes care of you. Although that doesn't excuse the fact that you embezzled over $50,000 at the bank you worked at as well as hijacked customer credit cards by the hundreds. You were smart enough to leave before they found out. But I caught you, didn't I? Now Lisa, please bring me my roses. It's so dreary in here without them. Don't you think so?
excuse me. Nah, bitch, excuse me. Do you have a problem or something? Actually, I do. What's up with selfish bitches like you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, but you will. And real soon, too. Bring them to me. You have a nice shape. Do you dance for him? Because he loves it when you dance. Sometimes. Let me see. See what? I'm not gonna play this game forever. I'm not gonna demand something of you only for you to pretend you did not hear me. When I ask, do. Is that clear? Now dance, bitch, because as of right now, I'm not very entertained. I know what you're thinking, and I'm asking you not to do this. She's testing all of me, Coney. I never had a woman talk so disrespectfully to me. And it has me considering doing time just to taste her blood. And that's what she wants. Yo, we sat on this sofa. The same sofa we sat on many times. Only for her to tell me to get out. So I moved on. Didn't even fight because it wouldn't work. And now she does this shit. I seen that same look on your face before, Taz. Right before you killed that man that jumped on me. This is the moment that separates men from a common thug. You had a power, and at the end of the day, it boils down to this. Can you control your emotions, or will you allow them to control you? That shit you just said is all well and good, but what I'm not understanding is why you left a bitch. I told you I got a call and had to bounce. So it took two days for you to wrap it up? Bitch, please. You don't have to believe me if you don't want. Good, because I don't. I never know you to act scaredy like. Let me find out you getting. I ain't acting scared. She knows about the scams. Taz doesn't even know about that shit. One call from her and I'm locked up for life. Did she tell you anything about her past? Talking about Fiona. Said as Taz, whatever that means. I know you know something, Wish. What I'm not understanding is why you're not telling me. You know how he is, girl. He's just excited because. He's finally a doctor. Give him some time to develop some act right. He had months, Wish. Can you please tell me why I'm in the same apartment while he's in New York? He said he couldn't move you until he settled in. Said the apartment's too small and- <laughs> Leave me, Wish. He's gonna leave me. I don't think I'm ready to handle it. Take a few to relax. That's the only thing he gave me for my love, a drug habit. You can stop at any time. Can I? I wish you drink liquor. Then we can have a drink together. No, I can't fuck with it. Saw what it did to the people in my family. I'll check on you later. Do the feel good finger dance if those pills don't work. I should have never told you my secret. Girl, please. It's perfectly okay. I did the finger dance on the way over here. Get away from me! <laughs> I haven't always known my brother. Even though our father's blood bonds us. But he loves you, Fiona. Just has a different way of showing it its all.
I see you hit the red button again. What's it about this time? And where's Scully? I called and he told me to suck on the back of a car bumper. Fuck that nigga. But this meeting's about Fiona. Tell us something we don't know. I think she's talking to my friend about that night. We need to select a date and be done with her. Once and for all. I don't say much. Besides, neither one of you want to hear what I have to say anyway. But we shouldn't press on Fiona until we talk to her. I hate to admit it, but I think May Keisha's right. Since when you started listening to May? I'm surprised myself, but she's right. I think one of us should go talk to her to see how she feels about that night. I get the impression that if she wanted to say something, she would have done it already. Plus, I don't know this friend of yours, and I don't care to meet her either. What I do know is, we have a history with Fiona. And before Kansas died, we were all close. If I gotta take a life, I'm okay with it. But let me give a dead man walk and a final chance to explain herself first. And let me remind you both that there's no statute of limitations on murder. You don't have to remind me. I think about it every day. We don't get this bitch now. And she talks. Remember the day I suggested a solution. And let me remind you of something too. If Fiona gets to talking, she won't be the only person I'm taking out. I'm coming for your friend, too. We do what we must. Did you know the gang was back together? All of them? No. Just Dirk Wish and Makisha. Can you hear what they're saying? No. I'm too far. But let me take them out. I don't trust them. For what? They can't hurt me. If you say so. But if you ask me, you're making a big mistake. I didn't know you were still here. <laughs> Not staying long. Taz, can we talk for a minute? About what? Us. Almost three years together, you least owe me that. There you go with that shit again. I don't owe you shit, Fiona. Taz, please talk to me. I'm the one who saw your face in prison that day. While on a visit with Carmelo, I left my relationship to be with you, to pursue you. We might not get along, but we could still be civilized, right? What, Fiona? Your whore danced for me tonight. 
I think she wanted me to eat her pussy or something, but I refused. I'm not into bitch. <laughs> you could write a book if you wanted. Oh what? On how to systematically destroy a man. Taz, don't. No, you don't. I thanked you when you stood on the other side of that gate when they released me from prison by giving you my undivided attention. But still, you wanted more. I thank you for the new clothes for the interview, which enabled me to get that job by allowing you to talk down to me, even though my nature wanted to hurt you bad. But still, you wanted more. I didn't even thank you for getting my credit together, by fucking you anytime you desire, despite the arguments between us being so bad I can no longer stand the sight of your face. But still, you wanted more. But I'm done. You want a man who will reverse into a child when you get ready to control him. But the shit stops here, Fiona. I've done everything you asked. But you will not take my soul. It's old. And again, you knew that already. I've been calling. So you don't fuck with the nigga no more? Can't find my phone. What did Fiona do? Did she kill somebody? Why you ask that? She been around here again? No. But Fiona talks a lot of shit. She got people willing to do crime for her, but I doubt she was hands on for any of it. Oh. Say the word and I'll take care of it, Lisa. You know that. And then what? You get locked up? You do that shit and you'll give her what she wants. Well, all I want is you. What you want me to do then, Lisa? I can't come here and be around this. This what? This bullshit. I chose you. Because shit is mostly good between us. When I need my space, you give it to me. When I'm watching the game, you don't fuck with the nigga about it. Need that pussy, you serve it on time. But this, this attitude shit, I can't rock with. If I wanted this, I would have stayed with her. Don't ever do that. Never throw her name in my face. But you know what I mean. No, I don't. Just the other day, you told me not to compare myself to her. Said to be my own woman and focus on my own positives. If you ask me, you can't make up your fucking mind what you want. Well, you watch how you talk to me, Lisa. You know what? Just go back to your sugar mama. You think I'm playing? What part about my personality got you thinking it's okay for you to flex like this? Whatever, Ted. I asked you a fucking question. I had a fucked up life. I did some grimy shit and hurt a lot of people. What does that have to do with what we building? A lot. I mean, maybe I don't deserve you. We all got secrets. As long as you don't disrespect me, I'll pardon yours. No, I'm sick of women disrespecting and then wondering why they see a nigga's back more than his face. If we're gonna be together, then behave like my wife. Otherwise, remove my ring and I'll check that pussy when I get the time. It goes both ways, Tess. And you're right, coming at you like that a minute ago was wrong. But it's all I know. I guess sometimes I act up because I'm so used to niggas leaving. I give them a reason to go sooner. But you can't throw another bitch's name in my face again. Ever. But you can take your ring back now. And don't worry about coming back with this pussy. Because I'd rather fuck myself first. Spicy ass. 
guest testify, we may. I guess so. I will never be another. With you, I'm done. I already know. Appreciate you standing there for my mans on the court. You set me up again. Don't mention it. Been here long? Been long enough. I'm closing out on the spot at the harbor in a few days. I should hear something soon. I appreciate you letting my players run out your restaurant. We have a long weekend ahead of us, and they love your menu and service. I do what I can. Plus, I'm a fan of local basketball teams. I see potential in Star Urban, too. I'm talking NBA staff. Your lady, the one who lives here with you, is she okay? Fuck you concerned about my lady's well-being for? I know her. We have a past. Nigga, you better explain yourself in a way I can't forget it. <laughs> and the thing, I'm the nicest of the bunch. You're not making sense. There's a group of people, me being one of them, that wants nothing more than see Fiona buried. You got a rain on her? Pull it. Or she gonna end up dead. What's going on? Not babysit. This nigga was just about to leave. He's right. Besides, I let my feelings be known. No need to say much more. He didn't tell you where he was going. You're my creditor, remember? It's not my job to give my fiance's whereabouts. Besides, I know you have people watching my house at all times, so stop the games. He moved out some of his things. I'm not sure why, because the deal between you and I has not been settled. Tez chose me already, Fiona. Maybe it's time for you to let him go. It's not about him. It's about my money. Now, if you don't have a way how you can get my money, I have an idea. Do you have my phone? Because I know you text people and said I had HIV. The thing is, they didn't believe you. Why would I have your phone? I don't have a home phone, Fiona. All the numbers I have in that cell and I would like it back. You have another phone. The one you use scams on? Use that one. You're using it already. Hello. You wouldn't believe how hard it was for me to find this number. I need you to. She's here. Oh, I, I need you to meet me someplace private. Don't tell her you're talking to me. Why? She doesn't know. Just don't tell her. Alright, just text me the address. I'll be on my way. Have a date. I'm sorry, Fiona about falling in love with the man who wasn't mine. I knew you were with Tez and I didn't care. And I know Karma gonna revisit me later. But I'm begging you to please, please let this go. I don't have your money and I, I never will. But if you want, I love Taz, but if you want me to let him go, I will. Just to give back my peace of mind. Yeah, right, so you can tell Taz I made you do it? 
if this is what you want, I won't tell him. I can't lie. I never loved anybody like I do Taz. But if my actions caused you this much pain, I deserve to be alone. Let him go, and I'll grant you a reprieve. It's done. Guess you got what you wanted after all. Do you remember when I first brought you here? What did you think when you saw it all? All I saw was you. You never told me that. You never asked. I haven't seen you drunk in years. Something happened at the restaurant? What you do, Fiona? It doesn't really matter. Because if she could leave that easily, then she wasn't for me. What you do? Whether you want to believe me or not, I let it go. I didn't do anything. We've had arguments before, Tess. What changed this time? Why would you be with someone who can't afford you? <laughs> My father's from Zimbabwe. You never told me that. <laughs> you never asked. I watched him bring us over from Africa. We worked hard. My mother stood by his side. She never worked a day in her life. He took care of me and Coney. Allowing my mother to rear us the right way. People see a thug when they look at me. But up until the point I killed that nigga for raping my sister, I never committed a crime in my life. And then I met you. You were there for me. True. But you talk down to me like I'm not a man. Like, like I don't exist. If you're going to tell the story, tell it all, Taz. What I want to give to cook for you when you walk in from work. To love you. But the bond between man and woman is so fractured, I can't count on you. But I can't lie. I did speak harsh to you. And you could have left when the going got tough. But you stayed. You know why? Because I made my body home. I loved you, Fiona. And where I come from, men stand by the woman they love. You, you, but you, you never said that. Why would I express my feelings to a woman who made it clear that I was here for one thing? To fuck her. Why would a man of my caliber admit that? Had I know how- You would have what? Not ran my girl away? Not talk callously knowing full well I could have cracked your teeth? What would you not have done, Fiona? I didn't know how you felt. We weren't supposed to talk about those things, remember? So I didn't. Don't leave me, Tess. Don't leave me. Don't leave me, Tess. Hold me. Hold me, Tess. Don't leave me. You never asked me not to leave before. I know. But I'm asking you now. Men, leave me. 
They may be think all is well and then they leave. There are no words to explain the disappointment when you find sanctuary and love only for it to be lost. So I became this thing. Hoping that one day I want to get hurt again and I could protect myself. But I'm begging you, Taz, to love me again. To see me like how I see you. And I promise I'll be the woman I know I can be. Don't leave me, Taz. Hold me. Hold me, I'm begging you. Don't leave me, Taz. Please, I'm begging you. There will never be another. With you, I'm done. What did you just say? I, I, the fuck did you just say? Does it matter if it's her words or mine? Does it matter if I borrow the way she fucks her hips? While adding in how I suck your dick to the roof of my mouth, please? Let me be the both of us. Her and me. If it means pleasure in you. I'm moving out in two days. If I see you again, I'm going away for life. I will kill you. I can't believe that in five days all of this will be behind us. You mean behind me? You already experienced the good life. I'm sorry, but we at the finish line now, baby. I made it. Who would have thought someone like me would be a doctor? Me? I knew you would be great. Whether the projects or penthouse, I knew the man you was born to be. And that there's more to come. Can't wait to show you what New York has to offer. And although I must warn you, I've met some new friends and I don't want you feeling out of place when you meet them, but you need to prepare. Does she know about me? There you go with that bullshit. I know there's a younger woman, Kansas, and I'm okay with you doing whatever need be to get through the days, the afternoons, and the nights. You'd probably laugh if you knew all the things I did to get by. But I'd be damned if I let another bitch reach the harvest that soul. She's a younger woman. Can't lie. That hurt. The truth usually does. But I need to know. Can you deal with it or not? Nah, nigga. The real question is, can she deal with me? Even an abused dog won't cower for long. This is my friend Lisa, one I was telling y'all about. I don't know why you want her to meet us. Exactly. Now you're incriminating more people. Hold up, what's this about? I thought you wanted her dead. Where you get that from? From the entire car ride over here where you said you wanted the black bitch dead. I was just talking, wish I'm not trying to kill nobody. Oh, great. Now she's seen our faces and she's scared. Guess we gotta kill her now. Hold up, hold up. Nobody's killing anybody. Just forget you ever heard my problem or the name Fiona Currington. Because if this the kind of help y'all giving, I'm not interested. Where am I? In my lair. Don't you remember? I stopped by your house last night and you said, I want to see where that motherfucker lives. So I brought your drunk ass here. Why? Outside of your request to come. I figured I'd let you off too easily the other day. You know, with cutting Taz off his payment. In fact, I'm pretty sure I want my money. 
but I cut him off already. And like I said, that won't do. Let me guess. He denied you. How about you say one of them jokes again and see if I don't shoot a hole in your face? Does he respond to you when you fuck? I, I don't know what you mean. I doubt that, seriously. If you know anything, it's fuck. Now, I want to hear how you sound when you make love. What you, what you talking about? Must have remembered how badly I hate to repeat myself. Put your fucking hand down. I want to hear your set song. Set song? Yes! When he's fucking you and you moan. Uh, I don't believe you. Uh, louder! Uh, louder! Uh, is that really over between you and Lisa? She called earlier, but I didn't answer. After all this, I realized I had to figure out some things on my own. And what about Fiona? You gonna let her get away with it all? <laughs> Fiona got herself in a situation that has come back for us. I doubt I have to do anything but watch. Maybe you're right, but I do know this. I never seen you happier than I did when you were with Lisa. So if you can help it, don't give up on me yet. A baby? Come on now. Don't act like you didn't know. But you promised! I gave you the okay. You promised not to hurt me, Kansas. I rode for you. Took all your shit. And you made a family outside of our marriage? What did I promise you? Huh? That I would get you out of Baltimore? If that's the case, then I didn't lie. Don't you see? All of our dreams have come true. I'm not understanding how a board-certified doctor could be so careless. Fuck! I hate when you like this! What does that mean? You were a willing participant. You knew about her and now you want to feel some kind of way because I got a son? You have... a... boy! This thing between us was a joint venture, Fiona. I gave and you gave. I took and you took some more. Let us not forget you haven't had a job in two years. Now I may be a bastard in your eyes, but I'm the same bastard who has paid all of your bills for months. Now as your husband, I deserve a little respect. I don't know how or when, but you will pay for breaking my heart, Kansas Martin. You don't benefit off of the top bill up I provide, only to walk away. I'm so sick of you playing a martyr. Now I want to be with you. But if this is going to work, you got to let this one go. So what's it going to be? Owe me the world, Kansas. And I want every corner of it. If you stay with me, you will have it. And more. Where is my money, Lisa? I don't know, you tell me. But you know what I find weak. Truly, I could care less. I'm gonna tell you anyway. 
I can't stand weak chicks like you who've given up on their men in favor of bashing women like me. You mean side bitches who like to sabotage relationships? What relationship, Fiona? Without the gift I provide, you won't even have a man. And what gift is that? The gift of guilt. You see, when he gets down on his knees, and he loves it on his knees, to suck the nectar flowing from this pussy, it's guilt that brings him home to you. It's guilt that gives him enough energy to kiss them dry ass lips while fucking that dry ass pussy on them dry ass sheets. So try showing me some fucking respect. You owe me, bitch. My sheets are 1,500 Egyptian cotton thread. Now I realize you're used to rubbing those kneecaps on alleyway concrete, but learn the difference. Now where's my fucking money? I told you I don't have it, Fiona. I'll be more than happy to say more sex on- I'm tired of you. I want the cash, I spent on that nigga, and you gonna pay me in two days. What you doing here? That's what I'm trying to find out. Let me make this simple. Said he's coming to get the rest of his things. And then he's done with me. He wants a divorce. Tell me. Because I gotta know. How is it that you can give a man a heart only for him to stop on it? You know the nigga. Stop it, Scully. You only want to tell me more lies. You're nothing but his representative. You're right in some ways. Kansas is my man. Always will be. But I care about you, Fiona. Still, you saw this shit coming. So it's my fault my husband left? Why you find comfort in playing the victim? Oh, shit. Get out of my house, Scully. You know why I fuck with Kansas? Because he's been the same asshole I've met since day one. And you want us to believe that he has a different way of treating you? He's telling the truth, Fiona. He doesn't know how it feels to be unloved. He's just a man. Pour water from that cup into that one. Do it. Do it. Do it again. 
do it once more, and this time, pour all of it out. There's no more water in the fucking glass! Exactly! So if you want to give and give until you have no more, then that's on you. But please, don't subject the rest of us to this shit. After all these years, Scully's still in love with Fiona. We don't speak on these things. What are you talking about? I already said it. Where you at, nigga? I'm getting a liquor. <clears throat> I'm at a shawty's house. Well, I'm at the store. I got the liquor for them bitches tonight, so what are we doing? I'm coming. But before I forget, play the many millions lottery for me. It's up to 70 million. You and them fucking numbers. Not everybody can be rich like you. All right, give me the numbers. 55, 23, 33, 40, 21. Got it. And before I forget, if you talk to Fiona, don't tell her I'm in town. I'll tell you about all that later. I'm not saying a word. Yes, that's right. The last four digits of his social security number is 3855. Yes, Chaz Berkeley. What you mean you can't give me any information? But I'm the one who opened the million dollar insurance policy. No, I don't need anyone to call me back. I'll, I'll try again later. I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of bringing you roses since I know you like them so much. What you doing in my house, Lisa? How did you get in? Come on, Fiona. You really think a padlock could keep me out? I work millions. I see Taz's death has finally gotten to you. Yes. It was very difficult. But I guess the real question is how are you? I'm fine. And somehow I don't believe you. What do you want, Lisa? Let me put this in the clearest terms possible. I want you to stay away from me and I want you to stay away from my money. Your money? Yes, bitch, my money. From that little insurance policy you opened in my name, thinking you could blackmail me into giving it to you once Taz died? Don't fuck with my money, Lisa, you owe me that. I don't owe you shit. And what you also don't know was why you were busy being sneaky. Taz and I made a decision to start our lives and got married. So when you saw him with a suitcase, we were going on our honeymoon. Oh, Fiona, pick up your lower slip. It's unbecoming. Lisa, I warned you not. To. Not to what? You killed a part of me. And guess what, Fiona? I don't give a fuck no more. Do you know who I am? I'm working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a very wealthy woman. But then again, so am I. So at the end of the day, we are what some might consider money peers. I have to gun that kill tax. The woman shot fingerprints on it, remember? Yes, I remember. And I believe you were responsible for Kansas Martin's death. <sighs> you don't know what happened that night. It didn't happen how you think it did. Maybe not. But if you fuck with me, the police gonna sort it out. Did you tell an outsider? Tell an outsider what, Fiona? We vowed to keep what happened that night a secret. And now someone else knows what happened. Don't involve me in your games. You know I don't fuck with you. I'm telling you, an enemy knows what happened that night. Now, if you didn't tell her, someone else did. Now, give me one reason why I shouldn't shoot you. The night Kansas died didn't happen like you think it did. What the fuck are you talking about? They gave me the money, but I didn't kill him. 
I saw you walking out of her house, man. What's up with that? Come on, Kansas. You can't possibly think I would fuck around with your wife. We've been friends, too. I know what I saw. And because of it, I can't trust you. So you don't even want to talk about this? Nigga, it ain't shit to say. Someone in Maryland is a millionaire this morning. So if you have the numbers 55, 23, 33, 40, 21, your life has changed. Okay, slow the fuck down and tell us what's going on. I hit the lottery. Do you understand what I'm saying? I am a millionaire! <laughs> <laughs> Why you look like you ain't happy? Because Kansas got the ticket. So, just get it from him. My selfish ass brother would never part from that ticket. Especially after he caught dirt walking out of Fiona's house that night. That's what we gonna do. If you help me get that ticket, I'll make you both very rich women. So you get my sister to call and then come over my crib even though I didn't want to see you? I'm here about something else, man. And what's that? My lottery ticket. <laughs> Nigga, if that's the only thing you wanted, why you ain't just saved? I want with some losing ass ticket. Nah, man. I bought the ticket and I won it. That's all. Just give him the ticket, Kansas. Now shut up, bitch. You never gave a fuck about me just like I never gave a fuck about you. That's not it. I wanted to love you, but you never gave me a chance. Now stop fucking around and give him the ticket. You didn't pick the numbers. Over my dead body. How many pills you give her? Enough to knock her out. You think somebody gonna fall for this shit? The nigga had a baby out of wedlock. The only can't have kids. So she's grief stricken. The doll's a bit much, man. Let me quarterback this scene. The doll's staying. She can't have a baby, so she think this one's hers. The pills she sucks down on a regular, they will believe it. Now give me the phone cord. What is this? Why did I never find the last minute? What were you using it for? So it'll look like she tried to hang herself after she stabbed him. You okay, Wish? He didn't love me. And I didn't love him. Right? When you start drinking? Now. Let's get the fuck out of here. Should've gave me more pills. The little you gave me did nothing but put me to sleep. Don't worry. I know about the numbers. And your secret is safe with me. How do you know? You play the same numbers over and over. Plus, I heard you give the numbers to Kansas that night. What you want? Five million dollars. And I'll take the rap for this crime. Kansas, let's go! Why you leave the damn dog with? She killed him! 
Be on the kill Kansas. I thought you ain't fuck with us. Why you call this me? That night, that I found Kansas' body with Fiona. Was it staged? What you talking Did about? Did you pay Fiona to lie to me? He wouldn't give me the ticket, man. It was mine. So y'all got money too? How come I never seen no signs of it? Because you don't fuck with us, remember? So y'all lied to me about Kansas' death and convinced me to hide the body for money? Telling me y'all's fingerprints were everywhere? And if I didn't help, the police would think y'all were all involved? You said it too, Scully. Kansas wasn't about shit. Who cares if he died? Let's check right now and let this go. Sorry, Shorty. Should have signed that paperwork a little early. No! I still can't believe somebody killed all three of them. What do I care? They had it coming. So what you want to do about the fat chick? I'll take care of that bitch myself. Sure you shouldn't just leave it alone? Open my dead body.